updating the firmware of the SRX800 receiver. This video is for the M2, MD2, MD3, and MD4 only. Download, or if you've received an email, download from the, uh, in the SharePoint. And uh, once you've downloaded, make sure that you open the file and uh, have it separated on your desktop or uh, in your download files. And then right click it and select, found it there, right click and select run as administrator. You must have administrator rights on your computer. Press next to start the application and then I agree to the terms. Install the program in its default location and then press finish. I'm going to close my uh, download window. And now I'm going to open up the, SR, the new SRX800 host by right clicking and selecting run as administrator. You'll see it from the drop down list depending on your operating system. I brought the host window into the view here. So now I have to check my previous version. So I'm going to hit the about there on the top right of the screen. As you can see, it's March 18th, 2019, and that's what you're looking for. If it's an earlier date, then your host did not update itself. Press USB to connect to your device. In my case, I'm connecting to a model MD4, as you can see in the status bar at the lower right. And then I log on, and now, as you notice, in the user access panel, I am in data logging mode so I must do two things first off put it into setup mode which is the small red circle with the white square in it so I put it into setup mode and you'll see the user access change to USB and setup and next I have to download all the data so I click on the download panel I normally would download all my data in this case, since none of that data is just it's all test data, I'm going to reset my data memory and then press yes to reset the pointers and then I'm going to exit out of here on the lower right. Now, updating the firmware. You must go to the receiver maintenance tab and then over on your left hand side of the screen the yellow icon says high level I left click that then select master firmware and now I'm going to update it by selecting the SRX M firmware 0.302 right there you got to make sure you only use this for the M series receivers and then press open once I've selected it it will not take very long to to install the program for master firmware and once it says done which will be in a couple of moments just press done now it's going to give you uh, a message saying turn off your receiver and then on again to complete this process please do so at this time press OK once it's complete unfortunately this logs you off your receiver so you're going to have to go back to your main tab, reconnect using the USB, and then press log on to get back onto your receiver. So you have all the functions. USB and setup is in your user access panel. And now go back to receiver maintenance. Select high level, slave firmware. Select S firmware, the, the top one there in the screen it says S firmware NMEA the other version is for the D version so you got to make sure it's selected and then press open the transference of seven kilobits is not very long so just press done but burning 
this into flash memory will take a significant amount of time. I believe it's about a minute and a half or so. So I'm just going to let it run here. And it's almost done. You get this message reprogramming of the slave processor has been successful. And now you have to once again power off and then on to start the new firmware. So press OK after you've done that. And then we're going to have to uh, reconnect to the receiver. So go back to your main tab. And we're going to check your new firmware revisions. Reconnect and now log on. Go to your receiver maintenance tab and then check firmware revisions. It looks like a little IC chip just below there. It's highlighted right now. And you should have version 9.11.2. Slave processor should be version 22. Your boot code should be version 4 or 4.1. And your GPS receiver should say not defined, unless, of course, you're hooked up to it. Press OK. The installation is complete.